So you are a teenager, young person, and you are in the last couple of weeks of your summer holidays, moving from junior high school into college just now, okay? And that's a big change, it's a big transition. So what are you looking forward to the most and the least with this change? Well, I'm looking forward to be able, being able to study new subjects mm -hmm. in the new school, mm -hmm. but I'm maybe not looking forward to finding out which teachers I don't get along with. Mm -hmm. Which every child has to go yeah. through that, don't they? Um, and some of your friends are going to a different school mm -hmm. than you. So how do you feel about, about that change? Well, I do feel like I'll miss them because mm -hmm. I won't see them as often, but mm -hmm. I will be able to keep in touch with them and make new friends as well. Yeah. And what, what would you say though to somebody who is making that transition but find it difficult to make new friends? Probably then just stick with your old friends from your last school yeah. because you'll feel comfortable around them. Yeah, well, that's a good point. But what, what if um, they had low self-esteem or confidence? Probably just the same thing, just stick with the people you know and you'll be fine. And get that support from them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so whenever I was in school, um, I'm thinking about social media side of things now. Um, I, if I want to meet up with friends, I would have to arrange a time with them and, and meet up physically with them yeah. to chat through um, what was going on in their lives and stuff. How yeah. does that differ from kids your age? Well, I feel like we do text more than uh -huh. than uh, you would have but yeah and you wouldn't meet up as much in person then or not as much as we text no and do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing well or? sometimes yeah because then we do keep in contact more frequently, more frequently yeah. very good so do you think then off the back of that that social media is good for friendships or well i think it can yeah it yeah. can be because we get to talk to each other more yeah, yeah, I get that, and it's quicker and easier uh -huh. for you. Okay, so do you think that social media and high phone screen time um is having an impact though on people's mental health? Probably because it well it depends on the person, uh -huh. but it and how much time they spend on the screen, mm -hmm. but it can yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. A very good point. And do you think you'd be comfortable enough in saying to a friend if they were spending too much screen time? that or you maybe noticed a change in their moods mm -hmm. that something wasn't quite right with them yeah. yeah you would be comfortable with that um do you think though then thinking about covid times and i know that you had transitioned as well through um primary school to your junior high and there was covid about so you didn't um you know th that was the time that was happening for you but do you think that that period encouraged young people maybe to communicate um, more online rather than in person probably because i feel like we maybe got used to it over covid and then sort of just carried it on yeah 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 well that's a good point and then do you think then that that's made people worry about meeting up in public covid yes probably because um some people might still be cautious yeah of, of covid so what would you say to people then that are wary of of meeting up in person well just don't worry because COVID isn't as big as it used to be so yeah. there's no real need to be worried about it anymore. Yeah, meeting up in person is good for people's mental health and mm -hmm. friendships growth, yeah. 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 Great. Well look, thank you for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um and good luck in the move to your new school. Thank you.